Now, as we await the release of this report, the House, they are continuing their existing impeachment inquiry of Joe Biden. And according to the transcript of one witness and their interview obtained by JustTheNews.com, that's John Solomon's group, an employee of a hospital company that Joe's brother Jim worked with, said she had no idea at all what Jim did for the company or why he was paid. Now, another former Biden associate testified that he loaned Jim Biden $800,000, but only got half the money back, according to the Daily Call Caller. And the next week, another one of Hunter's old business associates, Tony Bobolinsky, guess what? He's going to share his story with lawmakers about the big guy. Here with the very latest House Oversight Committee Chairman, James Comer, is with us. Sir, welcome back. Let me ask you about this case. Um, you have released the transcript of this woman. Her name is Carol Fox, the trustee who represented AmeriCorps, a now bankrupt healthcare company. And she said she couldn't determine what role James Biden played, nor identify any paperwork backing up any loans made to him from a company struggling in 2018. She's the trustee of the, estate, of the bankruptcy estate, and she has now sued Joe's brother James and we sued him in 2022 because he didn't re repay the 600000 in loans, and she couldn't identify the services that were allegedly provided. Um, and she found no documentary evidence for consulting or marketing at all. What, what's going on here? That sounds like being paid for doing nothing. Well yeah, well, there's a pattern of that, and we've been calling it influence peddling. This is a perfect example. Jim Biden found out about AmeriCorps Health, a company that was a distressed healthcare company that were that was on the verge of bankruptcy. He approached them and said that uh, because he's Joe Biden's brother, that he can go to the Middle East and use all of Joe Biden's contacts and get AmeriCorps Health all the money they needed. But they needed to pay him first. And the way he wanted to be paid was through a loan. Now the company went bankrupt. Jim Biden, like he normally does, never delivered on anything other than, uh, you know, committed securities fraud with this AmeriCorps Health. And the now bankrupt company uh, with the trustee testified they looked over everything. They saw the $600,000 that went to Jim Biden, but they can't find any loan documents and they can't find one single thing that he did to get the money. And Sean, the most important thing about this for our investigation is they paid Jim Biden in increments. The last increment was a $200,000 payment the exact same day. Jim Biden received that $200,000 payment. He had about $4,000 in his account, so that made it $204,000. That same day, he, he wrote a check to Joe Biden for $200,000. That proved Joe Biden benefited financially from his family's shady influence peddling scheme. Well, that's what's going to make Tony Bobolinsky's deposition, I think, that much more critical. Have you had any evidence in recent interviews that warrant your committee to subpoena Joe's financial accounts and records, his pseudonym email accounts. Have you gotten all of, of that information? And what about any phones that he used that might have been his or maybe Rosemont Seneca's? What do you know? What do we know about Joe's further involvement? And when do you get to actually get, get the information you've been seeking now for a long time about Joe Biden, the big guy himself? Well, as you know, we've been putting this case together. We've been taking it step by step. We've made sure every I is dotted and T's crossed. And that's why when Hunter Biden, you know, uh, uh, had other plans for, uh, for coming in, I, I think that's why he's now decided he's going to come in for a sit down deposition. Uh, with respect to the, the phone records, we've requested specific phone records. We've requested, as you know, the pseudonym emails and the White House continues to obstruct. Sean, it looks like we're going to be headed to court very soon for a lot of things pertaining to Joe Biden. It's like they've uh, the, the Biden legal team has retreated uh, on things with Hunter that we've requested. They've retreated on things with Jim Biden and other Biden family members and some of their associates. But when it comes to Joe Biden, the fort is up. Uh, they're, they're armed. Uh, they're going to do everything they can to continue this obstruction because they're obviously hiding something. Yeah, well, I'd like to know when we're going to get that information. Let's talk about upcoming video, uh, uh -huh. interviews you have with James Biden, uh, Joe's brother, and with Hunter Biden. Um, okay, mm -hmm. what do you expect out of those interviews, and what are you looking for? 
Well, we have a lot of questions. As you know, we have the bank records for both Hunter Biden and Jim Biden, and we have a lot of questions. There are a lot of loans in there. We've already discussed with Kevin Morris a few weeks ago when we interviewed him uh, about all the loans he gave to Hunter Biden, over $6 million in loans to Hunter Biden. You mentioned two loans to, to Jim Biden in, uh, when you were introducing me. That's a million dollars to Jim Biden. We, don't, we haven't found any loan documentation. Uh, it appears that the Bidens may have been laundering uh, through the, the, the term loan. And, you know, when you get a loan, you don't have to report that on your taxes, but a loan is something you're supposed to pay back. If you get a loan and you do not pay it back, then that's income. That's income in the form of either a gift but, of the, of the person that loaned the money also, or income from the person that received the money. And, and by the way, if it's an extended period of time that you're paying back the loan, don't you, by, uh, as a matter of law, ha have to charge interest? Otherwise, yes. it's considered a gift. Yeah, you do. You do. Well, and the that interest, would be you know, that's just uh, another uh, another uh, tool in the toolbox. Look, they have not produced any loan documentation. Who would loan people millions of dollars and not have a document? I mean, th this is classic influence peddling. This is a way they tried to deceive the IRS and uh, you know, subvert the, the disclosure laws that are required for immediate family members of high-ranking politicians. This stinks to high heaven. We're gonna to continue to bring these people in. We've got Jim Biden, Hunter Biden, and Tony Bobolinski all coming in in the next three weeks. It'll be a big three weeks yeah. for the investigation. I'd like to know what the grandkids did to get the money they got and where that money went. Anyway, James Comer, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.